what's up guys welcome to the momentum trading lab i'm renir a professional funded trader and in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use the ict kill zones to craft your daily narrative you'll discover how to pinpoint optimal trading windows identify non-trading periods and shape a well-informed daily bias and without any further ado let's get into it okay first of all what are ict kill zones so itc kill zones are designated time slots throughout the day that maximize the likelihood of encountering high probability probability setups so here we have the kill zones for index futures and crypto you have the asia session and all times referenced in this video is in new york or eastern standard time so we have the asia session from eight o'clock until midnight then we have the london session from two o'clock until 5 a.m then we have the new york morning session from 8 30 till 11 and the new york afternoon sessions from 1 30 until 4 p.m and for forex we have the asia session from eight till midnight the london session from 2 till 5 the new york morning session from 7 until 10 and then the london close from 10 to 12 okay so this is the first market profile that we will be discussing today so this is either the classic buy or classic sell model so this is where we have the power of three coming into play so we have consolidation or accumulation during the asian kill zone then manipulation during the london kill zone and then distribution or expansion during the new york session okay so the first example is an example of a classic buy model so if we are trading the new york session and we observe that price consolidated or accumulated during the asia session manipulation during the london session then we can form a clear bias for the new york session so if we had consolidation or accumulation and then manipulation then we can expect distribution to the upside if the manipulation raided the lows from the asia session so if price took out the lows or the sell side liquidity during the london session then we will have a bullish bias going into the new york session so why will we have that bullish bias so because price moves between sell side and buy side and from from buy side to sell side we can assume that during the new york session it's going to seek the buy side liquidity because it raided the sell side liquidity during the london session so here we have an example of a classic sell model so if price took out the highs during the london session then we will have a bearish bias going into the new york session so during the london session it took out the buy side and because price moves between buy side and sell side we can assume that the new york session is going to see the sell side to the downside so in this profile i also look to trade the london session so if you see this accumulation during the asia session and price starts to move to the downside then you can assume this is the manipulation leg and then you can look for a potential long position in this area that you can keep for the rest of the day until the end of the new york afternoon session and then the same for the sell model if there's accumulation or consolidation during the asia session and during the london session price starts to move to the upside then you can start looking for a short position that you can hold until the end of the trading session all right let's have a look at an example of this okay let's have a look at our first example i'm gonna use the nasdaq for this example and you can do this on the 15 minute or the five minute time frame whatever is going to give you the best read so right here we have the asian kill zone so let's mark that off from eight o'clock until midnight all right so if we have a look at this piece of price action um nothing really happened it made a bit of a move to the to the downside but overall it was just moving sideways so we can assume this to be the consolidation or the accumulation phase of the cycle so let's mark off the highest high that was formed during the asia kill zone and then also the lowest low that was formed during the asian kill zone okay we have our highest high and the lowest low marked off that printed during the asia session i added this vertical line this is the start of the london kill zone at 2 a.m so let's see if we can get manipulation to either the upside or the downside and let's see what happens from there okay so as you can see we are getting the move to the upside we can see there's some manipulation taking place taking out the buy side raiding all of the buy, buy stop liquidity right there okay so now we can remove the buy side line that liquidity has already been raided okay so if we look at this market profile during the asia session we had the consolidation or accumulation then the manipulation to the upside so going into the new york deal zone we are going to have a bearish bias so we are going to look for shorts and then our targets will can either be the lows we will see what happens after the new york open 
okay so we just entered the kill zone so we are looking for short positions so we can go to a lower term time frame for instance the five minute let's also add a, a line for the open so we can always expect some volatility to come in um, at the new york open okay so right at the open starts to move to the upside so it's looking for buy side liquidity so that it can go lower we have this bearish fair value gap okay so this is a good place to go short enter right, right at the start of the sub fair value gap with your stop loss at that previous high right there and then we are looking for opposing liquidity for our tp we can look at this low right here okay so we can align our take profit with the sell side liquidity below this low that we just identified right there and right there it's our take profit right there for a 3.2 risk to reward ratio so that's how you could have used the previous skill zones to go into the new york session with a bearish bias and basically shorted the top and add a pretty nice move to the downside for 45 points and if you had a runner on your position would have potentially been almost 100 points I just want to quickly take this time to tell you guys about our free Discord server. So if you want to stay up to date with my analysis during the week, this is the best way to do so. So we have the Rainier official channel with all of my analysis. We also have Illuminated Nothing. He does regular Bitcoin updates. We have the general chat area where you can chat to other traders. We have the community trading floor. And then we also have the Momentum Trading Lab trading school where you can get all of the educational content okay for our next profile we have expansion during the london session so if we observe that there was consolidation or accumulation during the asia session expansion during the london session then we will avoid trading the new york session the price action will typically be very choppy and it makes for very difficult trading conditions so I will normally wait for the next day to find a trading opportunity. If we see consolidation or accumulation during the Asia session and a bearish expansion to the downside, then we will still avoid trading the New York session. Okay, let's have a look at the London expansion profile. So first of all, we need to look at the Asia session. So the Asia session is from 8 o'clock until midnight. That is clear consolidation it's just moving sideways okay and then for the london kill zone which starts at two ends at five o'clock you can see that we started to move to the upside all the way towards the new york kill zone okay so we can see we had the accumulation or consolidation in the asia session then from the start of the london kill zone all the way through the london close we had this big expansion to the upside here is the start of the New York kill zone. Here is the New York open. You can see a bunch of volatility basically takes out both sides of the market and then just drops around. So that is why you would then set out the New York session after observing this market profile when you have this large expansion from the London kill zone. Okay, for our next profile is when we had significant expansion in the Asia session. So whenever we have this significant distribution or expansion during the Asia session, then we will refrain from trading the London session. So London will normally chop around, consolidate, and it's not the easiest conditions to trade in. So we will refrain from trading that trading session and we will wait for the New York session. So the New York session will likely follow the Asia trend after riding the liquidity induced from the london session so if london chopped around mark off the highest high and the lowest low during the london session and then we are going to expect a judas swing from the new york open into the sell side liquidity induced during the london session and then we will look for a long position once we get a bullish market structure shift in the new york session so if asia witnessed a bullish expansion we are going to anticipate the New York session to follow suit, trending higher after raiding the sell side liquidity induced from the London session. And consequently, we will have a bullish bias going into the New York session. If the Asian session had a bearish expansion or distribution to the downside, then we will still refrain from trading the London session, but we will go into the New York session with a bearish bias and we will anticipate the New York open to dig into the buy side liquidity induced during the London kill zone. And then we will look for a short position after a bearish market structure shift 
during the new york kill zone all right let's have a look at the example of asia expansion so right here we are going to mark off eight o'clock until midnight you can see that the asian session had a move to the upside right after it raided the sell side liquidity below this low then got a nice little move to the upside if the asian session had expansion or the distribution then we will avoid trading the london session so let's mark off the london session from two o'clock until five so you can see this price action is very choppy so you don't want to get stuck in this price action uh very messy okay so in the presentation we said that if we had expansion during the asia session consolidation during the london session then we will have a bullish bias going into the new york session the new york kill zone starts at 8 30 the open is at 9 30 okay so i added these lines this one is for the start of the new york kill zone at 8 30 this one is for the new york open i'm just going to temporarily remove it all right so according to the slide we said that we are going into the new york session with a bullish bias so we are going to wait for price action to raid the liquidity below the london session so here is the lowest low that printed during the london session and you can see how it dipped into that liquidity and then displaced away so you could have looked for a long position on the lower term time frames in this area with your target being these eyes so it just tap the liquidity above that eye then you could have flipped narrative and looked for a short position in this area and then played it towards these lows okay the last market profile that we are going to look at is the seek and destroy profile so this profile is normally observed post large range days so given the intricate nature of this profile i do exercise caution and sometimes tend to steer clear of trading these scenarios as determining a clear bias can prove challenging now you can trade this pattern there is a way to trade this accurately but if you are a beginner or not well versed in trading this pattern and you have not back tested it then i would definitely recommend avoiding trading on these days so here's your typical sequence the asia range consolidates or accumulates and then during the london session it will raid both sides of the asia range so it will take out the sell side and the buy side so that will be your clue that the larger seek and destroy pattern is likely to play out during the new york session so once this pattern is initiated and what i mean by that is if you observe consolidation or accumulation during the asia session and then you observe that the london session raided both sides of the asia range then you can likely assume that the larger seek and destroy pattern is going to play out so if the london session raids the liquidity on both sides then trading the new york session should be avoided because determining a bias during these market conditions can be difficult okay let's have a look at um the seek and destroy pattern so let's first identify the asia session so that is from eight o'clock until midnight right and i am on the five minute chart so eight o'clock until midnight okay so we can clearly see that there's accumulation during the asia session so let's mark off the highest high and the lowest low form during this skill zone okay we have the asia session marked off now let's have a look what happened during the london kill zone so from two o'clock until five o'clock i see how it came up it raided the buy side liquidity above the asia high then it came down and just tapped into that sell side liquidity from the asia session so you can already start to see the stick and destroy pattern playing out okay so we had the asia accumulation then the london right on liquidity on both sides of the range and then you can see during the new york session from 8 30 until the end of the trading session at four you can see how the seek and destroy pattern started playing out it went to the upside raided the buy side liquidity above the london range and then came down again raided the sell side liquidity below the london kill zone and then basically did the same thing again so you can see that if you are not an experienced trader or you have not tested the seek and destroy profile a lot you can easily get chopped up in this price action during the new york session all right that's been the example of the seek and destroy pattern okay now equipped with a clearer insight into framing the daily narrative and daily bias i hope you found this video helpful if you did please consider hitting that like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one